Hello, I'm Ollie Collins from VCC Homes and this video is how we utilise Dropbox for landlords at VCC Homes. Right, hello. I wanted to yeah, show you guys how we uh, organise all our files and um, documents and paperwork for landlords and for us and their properties at VCC Homes. So whenever we take on a new landlord, we create them a file uh, or a folder on Dropbox. So for today's purpose, um, we're going to show you Walt Disney's uh, folder and I'll, I'll run you through what we do. So we have all the properties that that landlord owns. We have a document audit spreadsheet, which I'll show you at the end of the video. And we've got landlord documents. So if we start here, this is all the landlord documents that we need to prove that they are the, the landlords and that they own the property. So ID, proof of address, um, and you can put anything that you want in there to satisfy your requirements. Um, so this is uh, initially where we verify they are the, who they say they are. Going into one of their properties, um, we've got marketing documents, miscellaneous, property documents, and tenancy, do tenancy documents. Uh, within the marketing documents, at VC Homes, we take the professional photos anyway, so I upload them to my Mac normally. But then what you can do, and what I do do for landlords, is I put all of those pictures into this folder, and I number them 1 to 10, uh, 1 to whatever, um, so that I can share them easily with them. And then what this allows you is that on spare room, you can have up to 9 photos. If you know exactly what 9 and what order you want to have them in, you can number them 1 to 9 and just upload them really simple. Um, for right move, that's 1 to 12. And so, yeah, all the pictures are in here. Okay, so I like to write the advert on a Word document as well so that we can track what we've written and we can make amendments. And, you know, if you ever need to let the property down the line, you've got a copy of that. And then not only that, the landlord has a copy as well so that if they, you know, were to take over the management of their property, they, they've got the adverts uh, for future reference as well. Um, because we refurb all of our properties ourselves, we take all the before pictures, so I've got them here, but they're not necessary. Uh, I've got a crib sheet, which is basically a sheet of all the benefits and and whatnot of the property in the area. So just to ensure that I'm, in, I'm, I'm getting across all the benefits and you know the value that that property in that room brings. Uh, you put your floor pan here as well, and you know we've got an advert that we put up at Gatwick here. So basically, this folder is everything you need inside it, or it has everything you need inside it to to, to let and market a property. Inside this miscellaneous folder, we've got stuff like bin collection dates, the display information, a bus map, and just, you know, like I said, miscellaneous bits and bobs. In property documents, so coming in here, we've got two folders. We've got the landlord document, so this is their consent to let, the landlord insurance, the management agreement, and the proof of ownership. So it's all the uh, documents you need um, for that property for this, for this let. So yeah, you, you can add whatever you like in here. This is what we like to do. Um, you know, it's not a, an all-inclusive list, uh, but it just you know again, it just makes everything simple, and you know where to find stuff. Safety documents. So this is where you've got your electric certificate, uh, energy performance certificate, gas. Uh, you know, if you need a HMO license, you find it in here. Yada yada yada. I like to put. Um, fire safety test record in here as well and um, not that it's necessary for unlicensed HMOs but we do fire risk assessments for every HMO that we manage anyway just because we feel like it's good practice. So coming out of that um, and going into our final uh, folder we've got the tenancy tenancy documents so in here we've got past tenants and current tenants um, so say we've got a six bed HMO here here are all the tenants um, and let's just choose Mickey Mouse as an example in this folder you've got your AST contracts your um, deposit certificate inventory um, referencing documents like their um, passports rights rent and all that sort of stuff uh, if you've taken out RGI like we do rent guarantee insurance we put it here and then yeah the tenancy checking form that they've signed and the tenant welcome letter with all the uh, legal documents and stuff that, that that they signed to say that they've received read it and understood it as well so yeah this is it this is in essence this is how how simple it is all the documents are in here it's you know the landlord and myself can find it uh, really really easily and we just feel that this adds value uh, to our service as well. You can access that from access it from your phone as well. So you know, if you ever need to think, uh, pull up a document real quickly, it's just so super, super, super quick and easy to, to do it. But let me just show you a final way that we actually um, document um, uh, audit our documents as well. We use the spreadsheet. 
Okay, so here's our spreadsheet for um, auditing documents. So because I work with Alicia at the moment, let's say I've taken on uh, Walt Disney and he's given us this property here. So I, I, I create a Dropbox folder for him. I uh, can then say, yes, I've done that. Um, you write a landlord in here and you know have you visited the property blah 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 so let's say you know it's a, it's a week later after initially speaking to him we've instructed it we've got all of the, the, the landlord documents and whatnot um, but he's not quite finished the, the refurb so what you can do is say there is an EPC yeah great but he hasn't quite got the gas cert because the boiler's not gone in now at the moment you can just mark that as orange so that you you know we use a traffic light system so green has got it red is hasn't have haven't got it or there's a problem or not needed and amber is it means that you know obviously you need to get it or there needs to be some sort of action um say okay so yeah and another example there you go so if you don't need a hmo license you can, you can take that red so this allows anyone that um knows our system i.e alicia and i um they can quickly pull up this document and see where the whole process is with that either landlord or with the tenant so let's say you know you, you, you're starting to let the property now yep you've got one tenant in you've got three tenants in but actually for this one you've only got their references they're moving in at a later date and you as you can see you, you can just tick it off as and when you go so yeah this allows us to ensure that we don't make mistakes anyone can pick up the work um, it's just a real simple system the landlord can come check this as well so they can see where we're at with, uh, with the, the stages of it so yes that concludes how we use Dropbox at VCC Homes I hope you found this info uh, video useful and maybe you could implement that yourself or if not if you'd like to uh, talk to us about how we can manage your property for you then please do get in touch thanks for watching and we'll see you soon